Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In the last session we began the game, we did our first job with Jackie and uh, today we're going to continue on. We've just left Jackie and we have arrived home. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City? It's called Kujira or The Whale. Interesting, I imagine we'll end up going there at some point. The Whale. Right, yeah, so we should be in the parking garage. Yes, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, go home. Home is just behind me. Call elevator is dis... Oh, it's already here. <laughs> That's why it's disabled. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Interesting. Residents of Arroyo. Good evening, Night City. My first book tonight is the first. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Oh yeah. Zip in your deeds. A job from T Bug. A task the task T Bug has given you is an important step on the path to developing your and it's gone. Great. <laughs> it's an important and it's gone. I hate that. <laughs> I really truly why why bother? putting tips on the screen if you're going to make them disappear in like two seconds before anyone's had a chance to read them. Sigh. There's some weirdness. I'm just noticing how like when you when you click the not click when you push the right stick to look around it you push it fully left and you start looking left slowly and then it suddenly speeds up. So like you start slowly and then it suddenly speeds up. Slowly and then it suddenly speeds up. Even though it's not like I'm not changing how far I'm pushing the stick. This is just fully right, and it's slow at first, and then goes fast. Slightly weird. I don't know why it's like that. See, hello, hello. Uh. Oh, it costs ten dollars. That's a no. <laughs> I don't know if these. I don't know if these food and drink items actually do anything for you, but uh. Pass for now. Stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Hmm. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. Anything I can help out with? Probably not. Okay, let's head in. This is our little pad, is it? Check your weapon stash, optional, and go to bed. Let's check my computer first. Oh, you have to hold it. What have we got? Messages. We've got three messages. Mega Medicine Lottery. Buy two tickets, get the third for free! Heart, heart, heart. Thousands of prizes are still available. Drugs, reanimators, primary care appointments, surgery vouchers, blood screens, cyber, cyber psychosis vaccines, ripper dog referrals, and our grand prize, a one-year trauma team premium package. Jesus. That's the kind of world, that's, that's, that's some uh, <laughs> big information on the kind of world we're living in here. You have to go into a lottery. To get primary care appointments. That is, uh, yeah, yikes. Penis nanogel scam alert. Oh boy. Do not click on any emails with ads for penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and proven method for penis enhancement is still the er er Eresex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Erosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. <laughs> Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. I didn't believe it would work, but I was desperate. I only had a week to get my penis big, and I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, Erosex did the trick, and I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. <laughs> oh, Richard Towers, real customer, verified penis growth. Order now while supplies last. Incredible. Incredible. Alert! You've been attacked! Your computer has been attacked by three demons. Our system detected two attempts to obtain your personal data, one to corrupt your neural processor. Immediate action required. Our quick threat neutralization software can prevent identity theft and implant hijacking. Remember, hostile netrunners can infiltrate your nervous system and force you to commit terrible crimes such as fraudulent bank transfers, assault, theft, and or armed robbery. Suicide! To protect yourself, click the Scan Now button. Our sophisticated anti-demon software will eliminate all threats immediately. 
If you do not scan in the next 5 minutes 17 seconds, your operating system may suffer irreversible damage. Protect yourself now! Okay, so that's blatantly the thing that would get them into your computer, a scam email. Amazing. Oh wait, hang on, was there anything on the net? Guide to NYC. Samurai web. Hear my call, I'm chipping in. Total war, I'm chipping in. Casings fall, I'm chipping in. Kill them all. Welcome to my samurai website. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't know fuck all. Silverhand for life. Oh, right. Samurai is the band that Johnny Silverhand was part of, I think. The greatest band of all... Uh, yeah, there we go. Was, was formed at the start of the 21st century. Its members included Johnny Silverhand, the Lord of Punk Anti-Establishment Warrior. Looking forward to meeting him. <laughs> Ex-soldier and arch-nemesis of corporations. Vocals and guitar. Kerry Eurodyne, a pal of Johnny's who sang almost just as good, but without that extra edge. He went mainstream after the band split up. Denny, a tough-as-nails chick who beat the shit out of those drums. Nancy, currently known as Bez Isis, a virtuoso on the keys. Apparently she threw her abusive husband out a me mega-block window. Too bad she sold out to N54 News. Henry, a do-it-all whiz kid, worked on the first personal link prototype. Samurai started out by playing in a small smoke-filled club called the Rainbow Cadenza. I'll never forget the vibe. Dust-ups with carpo corpos, drinking contests with Nance, listening to Johnny's hour-long tirades, not to mention his sense of humour. One time he printed shirts for a 2020 worldwide concert tour. It's funny because Samurai couldn't even get an arena, in an arena gig in the States. He picked some really random places. Beijing, Sapporo, Kata Katowice? I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, happened to have one of the shirts myself. Too bad no one got the joke. Real Rock with a capital R died the way of Silverhand with a flash and a tower. With a flash and tower crumbling bang, rather. Yeah, so Johnny Silverhand is dead. But, uh, we know that he lives on somehow as some kind of, like, AI or something. Uh, we're still here listening to your songs, Johnny. And we remember, there's nothing left for us. I'm trying to remember what I read on that primer thing about Johnny. Uh, it was like, I think his girlfriend got killed or something. And so he was part of a group. I think they got killed by... Possibly Arasaka, one of the one of the conglomerates, one of the big corporations, and uh, so he was part of a team to go and get vengeance and blow the whole place up or something, and he got killed whilst doing that, something like that. Anyway, let's not read all the rest of the things on there right now. Uh, spunky monkey, lovely, love a bit of spunky monkey. May as well just take everything, I guess. Uh. Sure. Hello, creepy little cat. Hot. Very hot. I really wonder, what is the point of having a mirror that turns off? Unless it turns into something. Unless it's also a TV. Yeah, that's about long enough. <laughs> uh, right, so that's final objective. Oh shit, I just noticed that there is a weight to things. So we do have an inventory limit. Hang on, let's take a look, shall we? Uh... We have new stuff here, apparently. What's our current clothing? 3.9 armor. 3 point... That's equipped. Alright, so that's the same, I guess. Aha! 9.9 .9 armor. Equip that. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Okay. We've got three weapons. We've got a regular pistol. We've got a full auto pistol. And a shotgun. Got a frag grenade. Uh, we got heals. Cyber deck. Two base ram. I wonder how you change stuff in your cyber deck. Mods. Short circuit. Non lethal electrical damage. Huh. And reboot optics. Hmm. 
It's not entirely, there's like a lot of stuff here that I'm not entirely sure how it all works. Clothing sets. Uh, what skill did we get? Didn't we get a skill in here? Uh, I can't remember what it was. Unlocks the mass vulnerability demon, which reduces the physical resistance for all enemies by 30% for three minutes. Right, yes, yes, good. What was... That's breach protocol. What was... Ah. Quick hacks deal more damage. Crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks. Hmm. I don't think I actually clicked this before. Allows RAM to recover during combat. Four RAM units every 60 seconds. Interesting. Reduces the required RAM for quick hacks used on devices by one unit. If you quick if you hack someone and then defeat them, you'll recover a unit. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff here. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while to actually like get to grips with it all, I'm pretty sure. Uh Reed, hello, what have we got here? New release brain dances. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hurry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? Though not a particularly original addiction to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Poller is still a solid experience experiential ride? Is that a word? Experiential? The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance, and urban legend alike. Still, Foreign Body borrows some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspective of a sentient arm. Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been chock has been chock full horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyber psychosis, so we can relive his return to normalcy. The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You'll relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into a world that is now far different from how he left it. This BD is a must relive of the season, but it's not for the faint of heart. And finally, the Badlands Raid. At last, a BD for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour de force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary, boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Zeta Tech convoy. I won't spoil it because, even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is, this remakes, the remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classics lovers and newbies alike. Sweet. <laughs> Take the vodka. Right. Uh, anything over here? What have we got? Oh, is this an, a different outfit? Are they all like 9.9 .9 armor? I think they might be. Is there any reason to not take all? Oh, they still stay there. Nice. Got some eddies. Uh, wrong button. Get that on your head, mate. 4.3 armor. Lovely jubbly. I wonder if there's a way to hide it. I would quite like to hide the headgear, because I like the look of the character's hair and everything. But I'm not going to turn down the armor, you know? Am I missing somewhere where it gives me an equip load and, like, how much I can carry? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll go with that. T-shirt. What are we looking for? Ooh, hello. This is 9.9. .9. That's 9.9. .9. They're all 9.9. .9. What do they look like? It's probably going to be this one. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. 
That's looking pretty cool. We still didn't get a face thing. Uh, lower body, we've got some stuff now. This is 3.9. Are these all going to be 9.9? Oh, wait, no. This is 3.1. That's actually worse. Okay. Uh, 5.9 for athletic shorts? How are the shorts more? Okay, the shorts are all... Uh, the shorts are better than everything. Well, shorts it is. <laughs> We're a shorts kind of guy, apparently. Uh, 3.9. I don't know why I keep checking that. It says it on the left. It compares everything automatically. 4.1. 5.9. Nice. Nice. Okay, wait, these are equal. Do they, do they look better? Yeah, those look better, I think. Oh, wait, I'm blind. There's the equip load right in the top right. Duh. I don't know how I actually... I literally... I was looking around for that, and I genuinely didn't see it. Amazing. Um. Cool. Okay. I need to get an assault rifle, is what I need to do. Right, let's check out our weapons. Oh, right, assault rifle might be in here. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Got spaces for swords. Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment later on. Just read that in time. <laughs> Look at all this space for all the lovely, lovely guns I'm going to be getting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right. Oh, we do have an assault rifle, but it's less DPS than the pistol. Hmm. That's 53. These are, yeah. 61. Bullets can ricochet off surfaces. Oh, and the, and the pistol as well. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Put that one in storage, I guess. And I guess that in storage as well. Just because there's no need. Keep these on me. Uh... I think the, the stuff that's blue is what's equipped, right? So everything else can go in storage. I can't put... So let me just check. Can I put something in storage if I'm wearing it? Will it let you? It will let you. That's annoying. <laughs> Wait, no. Was I? No, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, no, I was wearing that. I wish it would just refuse. Just so that you don't ever accidentally do that. And I wish there was a way to just automatically store... All this shit that you're not wearing. It, it means you can't just spam the button, I guess. In case you accidentally spam it onto something you're wearing. Right, so I need to remember to re-equip that. Keep all that shit. Keep the grenades. Uh, I guess I, I, this stuff's for selling, right? And this is like everything, okay. Right, now let me re-equip the thing that it took off. God damn it. Huh. That's an even cooler outfit, even cooler shirt than I realized. Love that. Okay. Man, this game is pretty fucking complex, huh? It's gonna it's definitely gonna take me a while to get into it, but once I do understand all the systems and everything. I think it's going to be a really, really cool experience. Right, let's go to bed. See what the new day brings. Data corruption detected, did that just say? In the top left. I think that just said data corruption detected. Hey, Jackie. Oh, V. You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. You know, neurovirus or 
Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Don't worry, Jackie, I don't need to throw on some threads. I slept in my clothes. Off we go. Oh, hey, the doors are open now. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. Hi. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Okay. Uh... Hey V, Regina Jones here. I heard you're looking for work in Watson. Yes, we just spoke to you. It just so happens I'm one of its main employers. If you don't want to waste those talents of yours, check the gigs I sent you. Do good work and there's more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Do I have any other messages? No, just from her. So did she just send me... Uh, would it be in journal? Did she just send me... So this is my main job. Side jobs. Danger moderate, danger moderate. Wait for the lockdown to end. So we're still under... Retrieve the ping quick hack from the net runner. T-Bug's probably the last person you'd expect to do presents. She's not the kind of gal who, who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts of your favourite comic book hero. But a net runner program? For you? For the job? Shit. She must really like USA. Okay, I think we'll stick with the, the main quest for now. But we will definitely jump into some side stuff uh, going forward. But... Let's just see, let's just progress the main story a little bit first, shall we? Grab some stuff to sell. What is this? Tourist information. Do you want to give me some information? I can't click it. Oh, hello, what's going on here? Patrol officer. He has a combat stim, he's weak to fire, he's weak to lightning, and he's weak to death? Question mark? <laughs> Love people who are weak to death. To Can't talk to them or anything. Oh, he was actually getting suspicious of me there. Okay, I see how it is. Shit, come on! I don't think you need anything more out of that machine, mate. Honestly, if I'm going to be brutally honest with you, maybe just give it a rest. Hello. Do you mind if I just, like... No? I can't. I can't take this. Uh, hey. How's it going? Can I just... Can I just... No? No? Okay. Hello, mister. The studded dildo. Lovely. My favorite kind. Yes? Nothing. <laughs> I really wish you could... I wish there was a bit more to these talk things. Because you could talk to a whole bunch of people, but they just say, like, hi, and that's it. Look, I'm waiting for a friend. That's more than most people say, so sure. <laughs> How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Better him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. I'm not gonna lie, I've already forgotten how to do melee combat, but sure, let's give it a go. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. In fact, I'm just going to take a quick look at the database. 
does it remind can you remind me how to do melee combat <laughs> please exploration combat melee combat here we go remind me uh we don't have a melee weapon fast attack is the quick right trigger strong attack is hold right trigger block left trigger right yeah where's the which one's the dodge again uh There's definitely a dodge, but I can't remember. Movement? Which one was dodge? Dodge is double tap B. Okay, okay, let's go. You got one hell of a punch there, champ. You ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. Wait, was that it? <laughs> You got it. You go in the ring yourself. You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. About those fights. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Yeah, I mean, it does sound fair if the fights wouldn't be happening without him. Depends what this small percentage is, but yeah. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Cool. Defeat all opponents to get to the final round. What have you got on sale? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Oh, yeah? Uh... How much money do I have? I have 884. And this costs too much. <laughs> Melee mod slots. Okay. Katana. I could buy a katana. I'm kind of tempted. I am kind of tempted to get a katana. Hmm. Wait, street cred? What's this? Legendary. Requirement not met, not met 11 street cred. Okay. I'm at like 2, right? 147. That's 177 DPS. Damn. Katana's 119 plus 35 to 43 physical damage. See, the thing is, here's the thing. Like, I only have 800 bucks. <laughs> is it a bad idea to get this thing right now? When it's, like, most of my cash? Oh, I can sell my junk here, actually. It's, it, there's, I just noticed in the bottom right, there's a hold right stick to sell junk option. Uh, oh, boy. 13 junk items for 54. Now I'm rich. But hang on. Uh... <laughs> Where's it just... Well, it just took me somewhere else in the inventory. There we go. Oh, it's tempting, but I'm not gonna. Not yet. Maybe later. Hello. New message from Coach Fred. Why can't I... It's not letting me read it. Oh, is it because I'm still in this conversation? Can I back out this conversation? There we go. All right, a couple words about who you're going up against. Kabuki, I won't spoil this. Just come and see. Arroyo, Buck, Sixth Street Ganger, real piece of shit. Glenn, Caesar, fists like fucking hammers. Animals Club, Rhino, woman's a legend, lays everyone flat. Cool. Right, well, uh, we're not going to do that right now. So, journal. 
Oh boy, that's danger high and danger very high. Okay. Let's not do them yet. <laughs> Wait, did I not click trap? You have to click it and then you have to click track job. I wish you could just click it. <laughs> like just hover over it to see what it actually says and click it to track it. Uh, right. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Let's have a look. Oh, my God. Look at these. An 80 DPS pistol with all of that stuff, but it costs 11 grand. Nice. What's the difference between, like... This one just has a black background, and this one has a, like, microchip background. Not entirely sure what the difference is there. Hmm. A revolver pistol. I wonder what the range is on that. And it deals thermal damage. But it's like all my cash again. So, yeah. Let's continue to not spend the cash until we know what is worth buying and what isn't. Okay. Were we going down here? Oh, wait. Collect your gun. Wait. It's actually... Sorry. Am I dumb? Let's have a look. Is there... Is it for free? Oh. It's for free. But it's worse than what I've already got. So I don't know why I'd use it. But it is for free. So, sure. I can immediately sell it. It's 55... Wait, no. it's No, it is better. Wait, I swear when I compared it... I swear when I compared it over here, it said it was worse. But now that it's over here, it says it's better. Am I going insane? Maybe I'm going insane. Okay. Well, we can sell you then. Goodbye. And is there a way to quick equip that? Doesn't appear to be. Upgrading iconic items. You've just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded, just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Thanks a lot. Job complete, the gun. Uh, let's equip that bad boy then. Wait, no, that's journal. Uh, inventory, that's what I want. Wait, how did this come off? Didn't I? I could have sworn I put this back on. Did I not put that back on? Am I going insane? I swear I did. I swear I did. Don't have any attachments for it, I assume. No, okay. Right, so the gold pistol. I guess that's what the gold means, is that it's iconic. It has higher DPS than the shotgun. Okay, let's make sure to remember to use that, shall we? <laughs> nice. and theatrical performances in the no tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. Oh, good. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Oh, I appreciate that. Nice all right, Jackety Jack, Jackie, so, where are you at? 